here. So the first one is to hold one's breath. And that's an idiom to um, stop, yep, to interrupt or stop normal breathing for a minute. But it also can be, an, yeah, it can also be an idiom, metaphorical. So hold one's, I would say, don't hold your breath. If I wanted to explain to someone, don't expect something. So say, for example, you lent money to somebody and you said, oh, Stephen hasn't paid me back his money yet. If I say, don't hold your breath because he never pays people back. It's a way of saying, do not expect something to happen. So you say, don't hold your breath. Uh, appetite, natural desire to satisfy bodily need, especially for food. So you can say, I lost my appetite when I saw the gruesome pictures of those dead animals. So appetite generally relates to food. You say, I've got a big appetite. I eat a lot, small appetite, don't. But you can have an appetite for things that you really like, like sport or, you know, reading. I've got appetite for classical music, anything. Or if it's a hobby that you had previously and you're no longer interested, you can say, I've lost my appetite. Or if you're reinterested, you can say, I've gained my appetite back. I've now got or I've got an appetite for. Double whammy, situation where two bad things happen at the same time. You could say, I left the house today and it started raining and I had no umbrella. That's one. And then I trod in a puddle and wet my shoes. So that'd be like a double whammy. Yeah. Or you could say, I lost my wallet and my car keys at the same time. Two bad things happening at once is a double whammy. Uh, slip backwards to move quietly and cautiously back to someone or something. Uh, example, the protesters slipped backwards when they saw dozens of police cars coming from afar. Can also mean to go back to old habits. So say if you smoke and you gave up smoking and you started again, you can say I slipped backwards into smoking, something like that. So I, to slip back, to go back to an old habit or an action. Dishearten, to cause to lose hope or enthusiasm, this spirit. So Mindy was disheartened when her flight got cancelled because of the bad weather. You could be disheartened after a bad job interview, or maybe if you cooked a meal and it was disgusting, you could be disheartened about cooking. Yeah, or disheartened about maybe someone stole something from you, you could be disheartened about people. Bombard, assail persistently as with questions, criticisms or information. So after the election, the incoming president is bombarded with a lot of questions from the media. Bombard, it can mean if there's a military exercise and there's bombings, you bombard a city. You can be bombarded with a lot of information. Like I could bombard you with a load of English words all at once. Or bombard you with my fast speaking. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, bombard. Something that happens a lot with frequency, lots of times. So it's bombard. Okay, does anyone have any questions about...